Formula One is back in 2024, and everybody is looking forward to a brand new, exciting season. Max Verstappen wins the Bahrain Grand Prix, and he wins it by a long, long way. 22. Nah, it was, it was 22 seconds, and it, he wasn't even trying. It could have been 50. So we're not going to talk about the race, because the race was shite. Yes, I know Ferrari had a nervous breakdown as per, and Sushi Tanoda tried to kill Daniel Ricciardo after the checkered flag, blah, 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 blah. We all know what everybody was talking about last week, and will still be talking about for some time. The horn dog files, which ironically is the thing that nobody is legally allowed to talk about. English media are receiving a message from lawyers in the country saying that if they publish the content that we receive today, they will be sued. Legal action. That's according to a Brazilian reporter who was on the ground in Bahrain as this entire shitstorm unfolded. This is her in the monsoon of reporters questioning Christian Horner. Now, I'm not a body language expert expert, but I would say he looks uncomfortable. Now, listen, I don't want to get sued, even though I do have my own gavel, but as the leading voice of the F1 online community, it is my responsibility to talk about the horn dog files, okay? Last week on Wednesday, Red Bull announced they had concluded their investigation into Christian Horner and the alleged inappropriate behavior towards the female member of staff. Case closed. Wrong. Because 24 hours later, somebody from an anonymous email address sent everybody in the Formula One paddock a link to a Google Drive containing all of the evidence against Christian Horner. This evidence included screenshots of WhatsApp messages supposedly between Christian Horner and the female member of staff, a few selfies, a video of him singing in a pub, a picture of his right nipple, and then the now infamous file number 76. Allegedly, supposedly, allegedly, this was photographic evidence of the horn dog, aka Christian Horner's PP. Now, the first thing I want to do is talk directly to the RPM Patreon members, because I think we need to have a little chat, don't we? I think we need to have a little discussion about your behavior. So on the Patreon, I set up a few chat rooms so that we could all share memes with each other and talk about what's going on in the race, how Ferrari's going to fuck up the strategy this week, and questions for the podcast. That's what it's supposed to be for. But to give you an idea of the level of degeneracy that takes place in the RPM chat, one day I was scrolling through the feed and I stumble across this picture, which initially looked like somebody had posted a picture of a woman in her underwear. And I thought, that's weird for somebody to post in a Formula One related chat room. But then when I clicked on it, it's an AI generated image of Toto Wolf in woman in a woman's body in underwear. No, don't like that. Really don't like that. I can't unsee that. And if I had to look at this, so did you. So that gives you an idea of the level of degeneracy that takes place in the RPM chat. But then the horn dog files got leaked. And when they were leaked on social media and you lot got hold of them, you really outdid yourself, didn't you? Somebody photoshopped my face onto the tip of the horn dog. First of all, I, I feel violated. Secondly, this is peak F1 discourse. Thirdly, after my face had been violated, then you all started posting pictures of your fingers and debating whether or not it was a picture of the horn dog or if it was a finger. And you, you got a bit technical with it, didn't you? Could be like this. Appears to be thicker at the base. It would also make sense why it appears to be pretty short for a finger. Technical analysis. Smell it. Not wet enough. I can see the resemblance. Basically the same. Why is it so red? Ha 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 ha. Boy, they are some sausages. <laughs> right, let, let's not start bullying people because of their fingers. Although, you did post pictures of your fingers in a public chat room, so what are you doing with your life? And then when I told everybody to calm it down with the finger pictures, they started peer pressuring me into sending my own finger picture. And I, I did, I did cave to the peer pressure, and I sent my own finger pic. Somebody edit this onto a cock right now. Okay, that's enough. So, 
This is what was going on on social media. When the horn dog files were leaked, the internet was making memes out of them. We were taking the piss. Nothing serious. But the F1 mainstream media had to be very careful about the way they reported on it. But the British daytime television media were having a fucking field day. Um, a series of intimate messages, apparently, allegedly, sent by Jerry Horner's husband, the Red Bull racing boss, uh, Christian Ho Horner, yeah. Uh, to I'll tell you who else is angry, uh, Jerry Halliwell, <laughs> uh, because <laughs> Christian Horner's marriage yeah. is now in crisis uh, mm. after hundreds of pictures and WhatsApp messages mm -hmm. uh, were revealed by an anonymous leaker. Yeah. Leaked uh, these pictures, mm -hmm. hundreds of them, uh, you know, they're not very nice, put it that way. Oh, uh, I have uh, them. And when I showed Kevin some of them a few minutes ago, his reaction was pretty priceless. Do you want to see something? No, I don't, don't... want to see... This is why women shouldn't be allowed on television. Or be allowed to vote. So once people had stopped taking the piss out of the horn dog and then bleached their eyes, then everybody started combing through the WhatsApp messages. Now, I'm not going to read every single screenshot, and they're all over the internet at this point, so you can go and read them for yourself. But in one of the screenshots, there was a suggestion that the two of them had some phone call shenanigans. You in bed? Question mark. Sure am. Sure I can't tempt you? Nope. I don't need to hear you explode. Thought you liked it. I never said I didn't, but I can't do that anymore. You weren't. Well, I like to. I know, but that is worse than touching. Why? You calling me, and then I just listen or talk to help you explode. That's basically like calling a porn channel. Exactly. Good for both. Stop. Good night. Right, so he had a wank on the phone, and... I bet she knows exactly what to say to get the horn dog to explode. No, Mikey, no, no, Mikey, that was so not right. <laughs> I know, I know it's serious and I shouldn't take the piss, but I am going to take the piss and then I'm gonna get sued and thrown in jail. Another screenshot suggests there was some aviation-based shenanigans. Can I make a confession, if you want to? When we went to Dubai last year on the plane, yep, and you got me out of control, you finished off in the bathroom, question mark, yes. Is having a wank in airplane bathroom a crime? Click top five things you can't do on a plane. Let's see what's on the list. Do not have a wank. Right, it's number one on the list, Christian. Number two, don't be naked or strip naked. Number three, don't use the F word loudly. Is the F word the only word you're not supposed to use loudly on an airplane? Sir, please you stop. You need to stop. There are children. Please stop. <laughs> We're getting off track. The point is, so far, all of these messages have been flirtatious banter. I just had a bowl of Cocoa Pops and now ready for bed. My favorite. Banter. But then things took a bit of a turn. Still in the Spanx, question mark. Yep. What did you like about them so much? You look very attractive in them. You must know that. They are just leggings, but it's what's in them that counts. Exclamation mark. You need to stop. You can't say things like this. And he deleted those previous messages. He apologized and said it was supposed to be a compliment. She then gives him another very obvious hint. Correct. No no more flirting. He says, understood. Can you please delete this WhatsApp conversation? Thanks. And he really did want her to delete the conversation. Because the next day he followed up, hi, how was your flight? So far, okay. Did you delete the entire chat? She kind of ignored it for a bit. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry to chase, but did you delete? No, I haven't. There isn't any reason to delete. I really would prefer if you did like I did, so there is a fresh start. Please do delete the chat for both of us. Can I ask why, though? I feel like we are doing something wrong when you ask this. I will do as you ask, but it's just weird. I would just never want your phone to get hacked or taken. I've exposed myself totally and wouldn't do that if I didn't care about you and it's self-preservation for the both of us. Yeah, right, because you really wouldn't want any of these screenshots released to the public and then for a YouTuber to get hold of them and make an entire video about it and then that YouTuber has an insane fan base of people who spent all night debating whether or not your finger was a cock.
because that would be terrible. So you get the point. All of these messages, along with several pictures, including the horn dog, were sent to every single person in Formula One, including the FIA and all the other team principals. That means Toto Wolf has seen the horn dog. So at this point, the Red Bull PR department is in crisis mode, and what they really need is for everybody to calm down and for nobody to say anything to the media that stokes the flames. Jos Verstappen enters the chat. Daddy Verstappen spoke to the Daily Mail, and we know what the Daily Mail does. Exclusive! Max Verstappen's dad, Jos, calls for Christian Horner's head, as he claims Red Bull will explode if Jerry Halliwell's shamed husband remains as team principal. Right, where's the actual quote? He said... The team is in danger of being torn apart. It can't go on the way it is. It will explode. He is playing the victim when he is the one causing all the problems. There is tension while he remains in position. So, Daddy Verstappen running his big fat dirty mouth to the Daily Mail, along with this video of Jos and Christian having what looks like a very heated exchange after the race in Bahrain, plus the pictures of Jos having a conversation with Toto Wolff, and if you add all of this together, you, you know what it means, don't you? Max Verstappen is going to Mercedes in 2025. What? What? What the f- Right, I have no idea what's going on, and at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. So, before I get sued and thrown in jail, I'm gonna wrap this up. Formula One is in Saudi Arabia this weekend, and I swear to Christ, we better get some on-track action, because I am done talking about the horn dog. I don't want to see pictures of anybody's fingers anymore. I don't want to see my face photoshopped onto the tip of Christian Horner's cock. I never want to see this picture again. Hopefully, the second race of the season- Oh my god, we're only at the second race of the season, and we've already seen Christian Horner's cock. Do you know what? Maybe that's appropriate. But maybe it's appropriate because even after one race, it's become obvious that this season, Red Bull is going to fuck everybody. 